So we're now at a point where we can actually start talking about apps. What apps do is they provide a level of functionality for our site. Um, so let's actually take a look at an example of an app right now. We just actually went through it. Going into admin, this is an example of an app. Now there's a lot of things going on here that you might not have consciously thought about. First of all, we have a URL that's set up for it. Some sort of URL pattern is what it's called. Um, and that maps to this view, which is basically something, a function, a Python function that is showing this data, all this information here. The view is doing that. Um, it's a little different than the CSS and HTML that's showing up, but the app itself handles everything that's in here. So like if I click on users, the app is actually doing stuff to understand how all of this works. Um, so the app is really good at just the admin. So the Django admin app, it only handles the admin stuff, right? It doesn't handle streaming video. It doesn't handle, um, it doesn't handle user authentication. It doesn't handle all sorts of things. It does work with those things in some cases, but it doesn't handle it. It's not, that's not what it's for. Um, so let's actually take a look at our actual code um, for apps. But before we can even do that, we have to add in our project into a Sublime Text project. Now you don't have to use Sublime Text, you can use any text editor. Sublime Text is just the one that um, I've come very fond of because it's very powerful and it's, it's, it's really good. Um, so here I'm just gonna add a new project, go up to project and then save project as, and I'm gonna go into my virtual environment, the Django, uh, try Django 18, I'm gonna go in here. And I'm just gonna save it in here as try Django 18 dot sublime project, hit enter. And in this project, I'm gonna add folder to the project. And then again in the desktop for try Django 18, I'm gonna click on source because that's the only file we really need or the only folder we really need at this point. Source being of course the source code for this project. And now I open that up or added that to the project. So now what I wanna do is I wanna see the actual side panel, so view, sidebar, view, sidebar, show sidebar. Your sidebar might have already been shown, but mine wasn't, so that's how you do it. So now we've got all of this code here. Um, so I just talked about this URL, and it's showing the admin, and it's going to this app. So back into Django, we see all of the different code that's related to this Django project at this point. Obviously, there's, well, maybe not obviously, but there is definitely a lot more code that goes into Django than just what we see here. But the code that's specific to our project is all here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this URLs. So URLs.py, we see admin here, and that is what this is, so admin. And it says include admin.site.urls. So admin, this right here, all of that is is an app. It's an app that controls the admin. That's all it does, it doesn't do anything else. So let's go ahead and create an app. And for a quick refresher, if we get rid of this URL here and just go back to that homepage, it shows us how to start an app. And that's it right here. So we'll go back into terminal, close out the server with control C, and we'll do python manage.py start app, and then an app name. So for us, we can call it anything. We can call it whatever we want. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna call it newsletter. So newsletter is the newsletter app. So this app, all it's gonna handle for us is newsletter related stuff. That's it, that's all I want it to be. It's only for newsletters. Now the best apps do one thing and they do one thing very well. Now let's not con get confused app versus project, right? So you are building a web app when you are building Django. When you're working in Django, you're building a web application. Those are often called apps. So when you're talking about an app called newsletter, like the Django app, what that's referred to is more of like a subset of your project, which is known as an app, right? So it's a little confusing, but it's something that you should at least take note of it now. Apps in Django are all of these little functions that build up your entire Django web app. Right, so right now we're just doing one aspect of that, and that is newsletter. Um, so now that we've created this newsletter, if I go back into Sublime Text, I can see that there's a new folder in here called newsletter. Right, so that appeared right after I created a new app called newsletter. If I go up and press enter again, it's gonna say it conflicts, we can't do that. And if I try and create an app with admin, it actually allows me to have it. 
Um, so it's not necessarily going to conflict with previous names in Django, uh, but it will not allow me to have the same app names if I already have it in that project. Now this admin app itself, we don't want that, so we're going to go ahead and delete that folder. Um, all right, so all I have right now is newsletter and then my Django, other Django stuff, which we'll talk about later. So now I have this app and I have this ability to do stuff with this app. So let's quickly talk about all these different things. First of all, the first thing you'll see here is a migra migrations folder. If we open that up, uh, we see that it's init.py. So that's that means that it's a Python module itself. That's essentially what underscore init.py does. It means that Python recognizes that folder as a Python module. So it will read through there, um, which you don't have to worry about too much, but that's a little bit of Python stuff. We see another init, which is inside of the newsletter folder, which again, Python module. Um, you don't really have to touch inits at all. They're usually empty too. Um, so don't actually worry about that too much. But we do see admin.py. This should be something that's some, somewhat familiar or we could maybe guess what admin.py does. We don't have to at this point, but we could. And then we have models.py. Models is a place that we will work with a lot, um, quite a bit, but notice that it says django.db import models. So hopefully just by seeing .db, you might guess that models has something to do with the database and you'd be correct. Tests, this is how you can actually run tests for all sorts of things, but we're not gonna get into that. Um, views, we have Django.shortcuts and render. Um, so views, this is something that we will use a lot of as well. Um, views, if you can think of views, what it might possibly be. And that is, it's gonna be how we view certain things about our project. Makes sense, right? And it should, so that's what a view is. All right, so that is what comes in as default to the newsletter app or any app for that matter. But again, the core thing here is you can create an app. Those apps should do one function very, very well. In this case, it's gonna be a newsletter signup. So we'll discuss what needs to happen in the newsletter signup in the next one, but you wanna keep in mind that newsletter is, or excuse me, apps are really good for a whole variety of things and you want to keep them as concise as possible because then if you need to reuse that app in a different project keeping them super concise to their function will make it a lot easier when you need them in different projects right so in this case newsletter that is something that i can absolutely reuse in other projects because many other projects have the ability or need the ability to get newsletter signups right so those email signups that we might need to actually do. That's something that we wanna do in this. Um, and then there's all types of things that can come with that as well. Um, so that's actually, we're gonna leave it now. We created our first app and we discussed it quite a bit. So in the next one, we will actually do some stuff with this app. And then we will also start to actually talk about the different Django specific things that are gonna be related to this app once it's actually needed. At this point, it's not. So uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.